Hello. Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome to Verbling. Hi. I'm Teacher Oakley. And in this class, um, we're going to do some speaking, maybe practice a little vocabulary. We're going to talk about the alphabet, your ABCs. We're going to talk about it a little bit, and then maybe we'll try a couple, two or three alphabet games to try to improve your vocabulary. So uh, it might be kind of fun. First of all, uh, the alphabet. Strangely enough, you know, we call the language English. But in fact, from the Anglo-Saxon language. But in fact, the characters, the actual letters, are Roman, adapted to Anglo-Saxon language. And most of English is actually, um, many roots of words are from the Roman Latin language. And, and there's also some Greek thrown in there, too. But the actual characters of the alphabet itself, in fact, are completely different. Original English, the characters, you know, like the letters A, B, C, D, were actually completely different. Um, originally, in the Old English, there were only 24 letters. Uh, a couple have been added. I wonder if anybody can figure out what letters have been added. Hmm. Uh, some letters are used more than others. It's kind of interesting if you know a little bit about the entomology or history of uh, letters itself. It can actually give you clues sometimes as far as origin or how old the words are. For example, a couple, uh, the last two letters that were added, number 25 and number 26, hmm, come on in viewers, I, I wonder who could guess what they were. I, I'm dying to see if you guys can guess. All right, uh, come on in. We'll talk about the alphabet a little bit, and uh, then we'll play some simple vocabulary games. Like, for example, using the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's see if we can uh, name fruits, for example, using every letter of the alphabet. See how far we can get, or animals. Uh, and then we can try some other brain exercises, trying to do... Maybe we can look at alliteration. We can look at a couple other things. Hello again, Selma. And Mustafa. Hi, Hello Hi, again. Hello. Can you guys guess? Can you tell me? Uh, what do you think the last two letters of the English alphabet were? Do you have any idea? Any clue at all? If you had to guess. Uh, what do you think, what did you? Okay, the, in, in real old English, there were 24 letters in the alphabet. Now, as we know, there are 26 letters mm -hmm. in the English alphabet, which actually, the actual letters themselves were basically Latin, uh, Roman. In any case, uh, much later, they added two more letters. Do you have any idea? what those letters might be. No. Ah. Uh, okay. Y and Z? You would think so. You might think so. <laughs> y and Z, because they're at the end. I, I thought you might guess that. Alberto. Hi, Alberto, again. Hi. Hi. Do you have any idea what no. the last two letters were? Okay. Actually, the last two letters of the English alphabet, if you've ever seen, have, have any of you guys ever been to an ancient Roman ruin or visited uh, Roman, maybe uh, Roman artifacts in a museum? Yes, so. Yes, you have? Uh -huh. 
Have you ever noticed something about the spelling? That, uh, like, um, well, my chat's not working. Uh, for example, you would see like this. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe I didn't do that right. But anyway, V, I didn't do that right anyway because the U shouldn't be there. I messed that up. The last two letters added to the alphabet were J and U instead of V. It used to be V had the U sound. V used to be a j used to be a vowel or a vowel sound, actually, in ancient Latin. And uh, it's interesting. Like for example, J was added much later. So when you see a word like uh, giant, you know it's a, a much older word because it doesn't. They didn't make the j sound with a J. So um, it's very interesting when you hear the J sound and it's represented with the letter G. It, it's a really old word. Um, newer words have the J, I readapted the J. What? Okay, here's more alphabet trivia before we try a, a, an alphabet game, vocabulary game. Uh, Selma, what letter do you think is used the most in written English? Uh, <coughs> if you had to guess. Uh, uh, letter S? Letter S. Well, what do you think, Alberto? I think uh, one of the vowels, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, I, perhaps in Spanish is the A one, uh, but uh, I don't know in English. Perhaps the A one. Too. Okay, Mustafa, you want care to make a yeah. guess? I would say E. You would say E, and you would be correct. Absolutely mm -hmm. correct. The letter E is actually, if you take every letter and the frequency in which it's used, the letter E is 12.7% uh, of the time. So even though there's 26 letters, it's used 12% of the time, oh, almost 13% of the time. Very good. What is the most common phonetic sound? Ah, phonetic sound. Phonetics are the sounds of the words, like b, p, k. What is the most common phonetic sound? What, what do you think, Mustafa? Is it short no. uh, sound? Ah, yeah, Alberto. Got it. Okay, very good. Yes, the schwa oh, sound. Is this the stranger? Is this stranger for me? Yeah. It, it's ab you're absolutely correct, the uh sound. Yeah, but, but I... Uh, well, well, I, 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 was, uh, I was joking, but... <laughs> You were joking? Well, you're correct, though. Yeah, about about schwa. <laughs> no, no, you, yeah. No, that's right. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, what, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't be, know. I didn't know. Yeah, because um, in all words in English, unstressed vowel sounds are usually just pronounced uh, sometimes short i i, uh, but normally like uh. Um, take a word like fashionable, okay, it has this obviously first syllable stress, stress, fash, but then the other vowel sounds are just uh, 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 fash, uh, the, bull, uh, 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 so four schwa sounds, okay, that's, that's why. What, what do you think is the least commonly used in letter in English writing? Selma, what do you think? If you had to guess. Maybe letter H. H? Hmm. Okay. Alberto, what do you think? Uh, I think the X one. X uh, is a pretty good guess. X. Uh, I don't know. Pretty, yeah, I, well, we're just fooling around. Mustafa, what do you think? 
Uh, actually, there are many, but maybe Q, maybe X, maybe Z. I don't know exactly. Yeah, you, okay, you've probably, you've just hit the top three uh, of the lowest. Uh, letter Z is used 0.07 times. 0.07% of the time in written English. Uh, Q is 0.1% of the time. And X, X and J are 0.15 only. Which is interesting because J is used a lot in names. Yes. James, yeah. John, Joy, lots of J, Julius, lots of J sounds in names. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, let's uh, try so much for the alphabet trivia. Um, so much for alphabet trivia. Let's try doing a little game here. Let's see how far we can get by, let's try fruits. What we're going to do, uh, Selma, I'll start with you. You give me a fruit that starts with A. And then Alberto, B, Mustafa, Mustafa, C, D, E, F. Let's see how many fruits we can name. Let's see how fast we can go. <laughs> okay, Selma, what's a fruit that starts with A? A corona. Sorry? Uh, a corona. What is that? Uh, did you want me to name uh, a word that starts with A? No, no, a fruit. Uh, a fruit, uh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a strange fruit I've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Going out to the acronym tree. Uh, pick myself a fresh acronym. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> so sweet. I'll pick myself a fresh BFF. Mmm. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll try that again. A fruit that starts okay. with A. Apple. Apple. That's easy. Everybody knows that. But there's yeah. many. Okay. Alberto, what's a fruit that starts with B? Yeah, mine is difficult. Banana. Ah, yeah. Hard one. <laughs> Mustafa, how about C? Yeah, uh, coconut. Oh, coconut. Okay, very good. Selma, how about D? Dates. Dates. Ooh, wow, good one. Have you guys ever had? Have you, uh, Selma? Have you ever had durian? Uh, durian. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you guys know this fruit? Durian. It's no. like this. Durian. No, Mustafa. Mustafa, do you yeah. know this? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, not so much. <laughs> not so much. Durian has a very strange smell. It it stinks, actually. The yeah. fruit is very sweet, but the, but the smell of it, Mustafa's laughing. It really stinks. <laughs> it smells very bad, and it's a very potent smell. In fact, in Singapore, it is illegal to have durian on the street because it smells so bad. You can get a um, 500, whatever their money is, 500 something fine for carrying this fruit on the street. It's illegal. I'm totally serious about that. You can look it up. But it's, I like the taste, but most people can't get over the smell. It stinks. It smells a lot like a skunk. I don't know if you guys have skunks. Yeah, in so your... most people, because it smells, they can't actually eat it. <laughs> yes, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, they can't get over it. Uh, okay, date. Uh, Alberto, ooh, tough one. Can you think of a fruit that starts with E? No. <laughs> no. Uh, elderberry? Ooh, very good. Mustafa, nice save, elderberry. Uh, you have the the Google list. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is there a Google list? Wow, I should have prepared that before class. Uh, this trap is tricky. <laughs> that is tricky, elderberry. I I couldn't think of one. Uh, I want to welcome Inigo. Hi. 
Hi, it, am I saying your name correctly? Inigo? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're, um, I don't think we've met before. Where are you from, Inigo? I'm from Spain. From Spain as well? Oh, okay. Well, uh, welcome to the class. We're just kind of fooling around playing simple vocabulary games with the alphabet. Okay, right now... Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. So you followed that. All right. So your turn. Can you think of a fruit that starts with F? F. F. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> ah. Uh, I thought of one. Uh. Here you go. Can you think of one that starts with F? Oh, I'm, now I'm blocked. You're broke. <laughs> no, blocked, blocked, like uh, in blocked. No, ah, yeah, blocked. Stage yes, fright. Sorry. You've got stage fright. All right. You can, Mustafa. Do you have another yeah. one? Yeah, you can say this because we have a tree in our garden, and actually we eat it sometimes. <laughs> you have a a tree in your garden that that gives a f fruit. A fridge. It's a fridge. It's a what? Uh, uh, sorry. It's fish. Fish, not fridge. Fig. Fig. Yeah. Fig. Okay. A fridge. <laughs> yeah. Mustafa's got a fridge tree. It grows refrigerators <laughs> on it. Wow. <laughs> no. Look out, LG. Look out, Westinghouse. Yeah. Maybe Samsung is better. <laughs> Samsung. Yeah. Yeah, Samsung's always talking about how earth-friendly their products are. You know, look at this, a, an actual tree that grows refrigerators. That would be awesome. Yeah. Just keep working on that money tree, Mustafa. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one I want. Okay. So much for F. Uh, F, G. Hmm. G. Can you think of a, a G? Grapes. Uh, grapes. Yes. Grapes. All right. Selma's got Gra grapes. Gra grapefruit. Grapefruit. Oh, I love grapefruit. Green apple. Green apple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Gooseberries. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Lots of good G ones. All right. Uh, how about how about H? Alberto, can you think of an H? H. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. No. I can't either. My goodness. I uh, know why, but then it's no bad business. <laughs> can you think? Can anybody think of one with an H, or are we stuck? Are we done with fruit? I can't either. All right, Alberto. <laughs> Sorry? You can. Can you but if you can, if you cannot, maybe the rest. You no, know, we got to give You're up. You're the teacher. Yeah, I know. I'm the teacher. We can move <laughs> and on. You, and you know we, all, all, the, all the fruits. No, I don't. I, I don't know say. everything. Well, I mean, I mean in English. Uh, Mustafa? Yeah. What? It, it's, it's a fruit like a uh, watermelon, uh, but it's not. It's a small. I think it's honey something. Ah, uh, honey do melon. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, success. Honey do. It's green, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's green honeydew. or white or yellow. Yellow. Yeah, yellow. Ah, really? I've only seen green ones. Yeah. Somebody's, and it may be me, I don't know. Somebody's a lot of feedback. I hope it's not me. Hmm, okay, there. It's gone now. Okay, so much for H. Uh, An ego. Uh, how about I? Can you think of a fruit uh, with I? I, yes. I think this is more. This is here. What's, what's that? I No, no, okay, okay. I. Uh, uh, mm. I don't know. Think... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You will. I don't know fruit. No, I, 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 I don't. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a hard one. Can, yeah, anybody, it's difficult. can anybody think of one with an I? No. No. All right, that's it. We're done. Inigo, then you have to answer the question. What is your favorite fruit? <laughs> oh, my favorite fruit? Um, I think, or well, I don't know. I think maybe it's, well, I really like fruits, okay? So, mm -hmm. but I think maybe, hmm. Now I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> uh, well, th that's okay. good. Actually, you can practice describing. Describe it to okay. us. Okay. No, no, no. Melon. Melon. Yes. What are melon? melon. What are... Which kind no, of no, melon? No, 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 no. What are melon? No. Melon? You know, <laughs> it's green. Yeah, it's green I... in, and in, on the inside is light green. Okay. Ah, and, okay. Uh, and also there, there is... It can have shapes, a uh, rounded shape, and then it's called cantaloupe in French. Cantaloupe. Yeah, cantaloupe but, in English. But, but yes, but I don't like I don't like cantaloupe. I, I prefer the, the I don't know the Spanish version. Okay. <laughs> that is like long, like yeah. a cucumber. It sounds like you're talking about honeydew, the green one. Yeah. Um, actually, when we're talking about uh, fruits, when we're talking about melons, we can actually say the flesh of the melon. Like the flesh, the flesh in a cantaloupe is orange color. The flesh okay. of a watermelon is pink. We can actually talk, or even we can say the meat. Um, when we talk about nuts, we can talk about the meat of the nut. The uh, substance is the meat, or the a melon, we can talk about flesh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, Mustafa, how about you? Is what's your favorite kind of fruit? Uh, I like most kind of fruit. I like mango. I like kiwi. Mm, I like most kind, so it's okay for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you just said two of my favorites: mango. Yeah. And kiwi. Ah, mm, delicious. I was, I was hungry last class. Now I'm just making myself <laughs> hungrier again. Jeez. <laughs> Selma, what you, uh, actually, Mustafa, where you're from, are there any sort of peculiar or different kinds of fruit that maybe we don't know about? Uh, I think we have. So, okay, let me teacher check the name in English and if I find pictures. Okay. All right. While you're doing that, I'll talk to Selma. Selma, what is okay. your what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is lemon and orange. Lemon? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Sour. Really? <laughs> lemon? Yes, teacher. Get out. <laughs> How do you eat the lemon? Do you just eat it like an apple? Yeah, <laughs> good question, Alberta. I you. eat it like a couple. <laughs> well, I cut it into uh, small pieces, and then uh -huh. I suck the uh, uh, the liquid. The juice. The juice, yes, yeah, sure. Really, you, you don't even make lemonade with sugar or anything. You no, just, no, no. You, you just eat the lemon. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll confess to you, Selma, when I was a child, uh, I would, at my grandmother's house, I would um, sneak into the garden and I would dig up onions. And I would eat onions like apples. I'd eat like three or four onions. Mm. <laughs> well, honestly, teacher, I sometimes eat uh, onions with uh, homemade bread or sometimes with couscous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Wow, okay. that's good. I am not the only one. Uh, I will yeah. share these two pictures yeah. of two fruits. I like them also. I don't know if you know them before or not. I don't know. Hang on. Barbary fig. Oh. Wow. Mm. What's that? Uh, it's like fig, but it's it's 
it's more delicious. I like it so much, but you just need to be careful when you when you get rid of yeah. the cover because <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, back to the needles again, like last time. Yeah, but ah. it's so delicious. I have never experienced this fruit. Is it uh, sweet? Is it sour? What, what is it? Yeah, uh, about yeah, about fish. It's it's kind of a sweet. It's it's not so sweet, but it's kind of sweet. It's 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 tasty. Uh, about the first one, it's not sweet. Uh, it's it's near to ah guava. Um, yeah, yeah, it's near to it. Yeah, we have uh, in the Philippines we have guava, and uh, they're everywhere. They're it, they're just they just grow everywhere, all over the place, and it's yeah. normal. You can just pick a. Every time I've gone hiking in the Philippines, there's guava mm -hmm. trees, and you just grab a couple and just eat them as yeah. you're hiking. And, uh, first of all, teacher, it's very good, like a joyce. So if you mix this fru uh, fruit with banana, you will have a fantastic joyce. It's so good. Ah, okay. All right. I, I guava for me is kind of tasteless. Sometimes they're sour, you know, if they're not ripe yet. Yeah. They're really sour. Actually, first one never sour. There are two kinds: mm -hmm. uh, red and yellow. It's I don't know how to describe that taste. It's mm, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find some, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can see fruit near taste to it. Okay. Uh, Alberto, do you have any interesting different kinds of fruit? Uh, no, up there in no. the Basque country. No, no, because uh, we are a classic about that. But uh, there are many, many fruits, many new fruits uh, that uh, were coming uh, from from America, from South America, uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the last years uh, to Spain. Uh, for, um, uh, for the last uh, 10 or 20 years uh, has come uh, many fruits, many uh, strange fruits from, from there. Uh, well, uh, when I was a kid, uh, there, there are not uh, mangoes or something mm. like that here. Uh, we have heard about it, but uh, about them, but uh, we, ha we, we haven't uh, uh, but but uh, them because because there there are not in in the markets mm -hmm. and, and that's are uh, the the strange uh, fruit we we have here. Have has anybody in the class tried dragon fruit? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. It's um it's kind of similar to the first thing that you showed us, Mustafa. It comes from a kind of a cactus. With it mm -hmm. as the plant has needles. Oh me, it, me! I, I, I you tried? Yeah. It has but little I, black. It's like the flesh is yes, white, yes. but it has white, little it tiny does. black seeds. Yes, all, all in it. <laughs> the name is hey, Mispicha. Yeah. Do Do you like it, Inigo? Yes. It's It's really. It's really. Uh, it's nice, but you know, it's really expensive. For what it is, and it's not uh -huh. that uh, that I don't think it's you know it's beautiful. The the fruit it's not, it's really beautiful on the outside. Yeah, it's a very it's very pretty uh, fruit. That you're right. It's um, bright purple color or pink. But the, the taste is it's okay. But I don't find it really. Um, I I found it. They use it also, you know, for decoration mm -hmm. of. Dishes of, of plate, you know, of plates with another things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. In some, in, in some recipes, and uh, well, but it's it's nice. It's called pitahaya. Pitahaya. Hmm. Okay. Pitahaya. Yeah, it has different names. I, you know, I think there's another yet another name, but I can't remember what it is. But, but is there in Spain uh, pitahaya? In your uh, in a corte inglés. 
Ah, <laughs> then it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I told him that you can find it, but only in a in a in a mall in a mall here uh, in Spain. There, there's a mall. Mm-hmm. That it's really expensive. Ah, I see. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, if, if you go there, you can find it. Yeah. But it's really, really I, expensive. Like, you know, uh, you know for one uh -huh. of fruit, like yeah. here, six euros or seven euros. Oh, really? Wow. Really, yeah. Okay. Here in the Philippines, it's like 120 pesos, like $3. Free American, um, but I have a friend who's thinking about growing them because they grow very well in the Philippines. Really? Yeah, they're easy to grow here, and uh, he's thinking about it because you're exactly right. They're very, very expensive. Even selling them wholesale, they get really top dollar, a lot of money, and and they grow easily here. They're just not known that well. Um, interesting. <laughs> this link from Selma. Why <laughs> Mustafa? <laughs> because really? she she is typing in Google Chat. She uh. she can't see the verbling chat. <laughs> oh you, oh okay. Well, yeah. Wonder why that is. That's weird. Ah uh, okay. Um, talking about pomegranates. Mm, yeah. Make your lips all stained red. Ah uh, okay. Okay, anyway, I, we, we sort of got <laughs> very <laughs> into fruit there <laughs> for a little while. Uh, what is... It? Okay, uh, actually, Alberto's get another one. I, I got to check out here. No, but pomegranate is uh, called Granada in Spain. Okay, hang on. Granada, like the, like the city, like the <laughs> city... In oh, the yeah, city. I, okay, I know that. <laughs> yeah, but the, it's a pomegranate in, in English. Is. Yeah, it's it's uh, delicious, uh -huh. but the pomegranate, but but it's hard to to prepare it and to to eat it. Uh, I don't know this. Yeah. Oh, I've mix. seen this before. They have this. In, oh, yeah. No, I have had this before. They have this in the ah. They have this in the Philippines, but it's very seasonal, and you only see it like uh, a couple months of the year, and then it disappears. Here in the Philippines, I, I don't know in, in Spain, but at which the pomegranate, the the one with that's white inside, the picture further down, it's white with the black seeds. That one I have had before. Yeah, it's really good, and actually, interestingly, they here they cook it with uh, seafood and coconut milk and that fruit really good they have a dish here with that oh my gosh I'm starving alright let's let, we gotta stop talking about food you guys are killing me or I'm killing myself I really alright let's uh, let's go back to our ABC's um, Let's try see let's see how far we if we can get farther with animals. Let's try animals. Selma, what's an animal that starts with A? Uh, anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> nice choice. Anaconda. Okay. Alberto B. Would be um, a beef. Uh, beef is uh, only for eating. Uh, yeah, eating, you know. that's a dead yeah. animal. That's a cow <laughs> or something like that. Wow, yeah. Like that. Yeah, try again. I don't know. A bull, a bull. Yeah. A bull. A bull? Okay. <laughs> sure. Bull, boar, bear. Okay, in you go. Okay. See. You see, Cam chameleon? Chameleon. Chameleon, yes. Yeah, chameleon. okay. The lizard that can change colors. All right, very good. All right, Mustafa D. Uh. 
Oh, you were coming up with all these genius fruit things. No, it's, it's animal or fruit? Animal. Animal. He's, animal. He's so, a specialist in fruit. Uh, yeah, specialist. <laughs> I guess so. No, I just I said dog. So dog. dog. Oh, I oh we uh, maybe your microphone cut out. We didn't hear you. I didn't hear you anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dog. Yeah, I was wondering. I was gonna have to bark. All right, Thelma, uh, E. Uh, elephant. Okay, very good. Selma, have you ever ridden an elephant? No, actually, I see, I've never seen an elephant in my life, so... I see really? Only, yes, only in documentaries. We don't have animals in Algeria. Uh, sorry. <laughs> elephants. No, no elephants in Algeria? Yes, teacher. <laughs> only in the you should get southern some. of Africa. Well, you have a lot of oil. You can buy some elephants. Go ahead. <laughs> Import them. It'd be great. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alberto, F. Uh, a fly. A fly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. A small fly. <laughs> a small fly. Okay. Edigo, G. G, uh, G. Giraffe. Giraffe, sure, of course. Uh, H, Mustafa. Mustafa, are you able to speak? <laughs> are you able to speak? Okay, I maybe he's having technical difficulties. Uh, all right, I'll I'll pass you this time, Mustafa. Uh, H. Selma. A horse. A horse. Okay, a hippo. A hummingbird. A uh, yeah, no. Uh, Alberto, actually, H I. I uh, a jacko, for example. With I. Yeah. <laughs> I. Not I, J. I, but I know it. I buy by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are in the I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know? Mm hmm Can anybody think of one with I? Iguana. Iguana. Yeah. I Iguana. Very good. Or Ibex. It's a kind of antelope. Ibex. Mm -hmm. uh, Mustafa? Are you back yet? Yeah, I'm back. Sorry, I have just called okay. from university. <laughs> oh, okay. If yeah. You need to take your call, you know. No, no, I take it. I don't. Okay. All right. Uh, how about J? Uh, okay. So fruit with J. No, uh, animal. Uh, animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Stuck on uh, fruit. Animal. Mm, I can. Oh, I think he's. Uh, I think. Okay, you're still there. Uh, gazelle? No, say, uh, that's a G. Gazelle. Yeah. Not J, J. Okay, J, sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gazelle is G. Uh, mm, J. Uh, jungle cat. It's animal. <laughs> jungle cat? <laughs> no, I think that's a Disney movie or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, jungle Boy. Did you ever see Jungle Boy? <laughs> Mowgli. Yeah. Mowgli. Yeah, you got it, Selma. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Mowgli, the Jungle Boy. I like uh, I like Babu the Bear in that one. <laughs> when he dances. Okay. Anyway. No, I wouldn't say. Can I, actually? Uh, Alberto said it earlier, but you were on your phone call. He he had a good one. Uh, jackal. Yeah, Jackal. All right. Selma, how about K? K is uh, four. Kangaroo. 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 Very, very good. And uh, Selma, have you ever ridden a kangaroo? No, I think 
can go out in Australia, so <laughs> it's far away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alberto. Alberto, what kinds of animals have you ridden? Yeah. Uh, what, did you ride a horse, uh, an ostrich, a hippo? No, no well, I, I rode uh, twice, but it's uh, harder because uh, you were, uh, well, uh, beaten uh, by the horse and it's, uh, oh, okay. it's you too rode difficult to, to ride a horse uh, for you, me. You rode a horse. Okay, for a second I yeah, thought... But, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, for a second I thought you were telling us that you rode a hippo. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever ridden a, another kind of animal, like an elephant or a camel? Uh, well, uh, uh, when I was in Canary Island, uh, I I rode uh, well, I rode <laughs> a camel. You did? Yeah, because you you can uh, go uh, well, you can uh, make a trip uh, in the mountains uh, by a by a camel. Um, and <laughs> I wrote oh, really? it. Okay, what's that like? I, is it harder or e the same, like compared to uh, riding a horse? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, go on down, go, uh, up and down, up and up down. Up and down, up and down. Up and down. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And it, it, it is miles. <laughs> I heard the camels are, n are nasty. I mean, kind of mean. Yeah. Bad tempered, I should say. Yeah. 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 Okay. The 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 camel uh, the camel uh, seem to to be uh, not tired but bored. <laughs> bored. <laughs> with the, yeah, with the, with the tourist. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Anyway, we're we're at J K L. What's the animal that starts with L? Wow, we, we may be able to get through the whole alphabet. And it's for me. Uh, yeah, Alberto, L. With, uh, with L, uh, well, uh, a lion is easy. Yeah. Of course, lion. Inigo, L, M. Marty? Monkey? Marty. Sorry? One more time? M. M. A manatee. Manatee. Oh, manatee. manatee. Oh, very cool. Inigo, have you ever ridden a manatee? Uh, no. The, <laughs> only, the only animal that I rode in is a, is a dog. Is a... A dog, yes, because a friend of mine has a Saint Bernard that is really <laughs> big. And, and that's the only animal that I have. You rode a dog, a Saint Bernard, yeah. no less. That's funny. Yeah, but, but only maybe for five seconds. Uh, okay. That's the only animal. That That's it? <laughs> okay. Yes. Inigo, do you know what a beagle is? A beagle? A dog. A kind, another kind of dog. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Seriously, true story. I had a dog that was um, half beagle, half St. Bernard. It was the funniest looking dog. It was the size of a St. Bernard. It was really huge. You know, St. Bernards are big, obviously. You could ride one. But it had the color and body shape of a beagle. But it was huge. <laughs> like, really funny. Prob uh, very funny looking dog. But great. What a great dog. Okay, uh, anyway, I digress. Manatee, all right. Mustafa N. N, uh, Nampat. What's that again? Mm, okay, I will type it. Nampat. Numbat. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where did you pull that one out of? Okay. <laughs> numbat. All right, I've heard of that before. It's, yeah. uh, what is a numbat? Uh, it's kind of animal. It's, I see it in TV, so... <laughs> it's 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 big than rat. Have to draw just <laughs> long tongue. I'm not sure what he eats. 
Okay, what? Yeah. Where is a numbat native to? Mm, I I don't remember the so. show. <laughs> I think they're I think, I think Australia. Yeah, I think I think so. Are are numbats a marsupial? Yes. Do you know marsupial? No. It's a kangaroo. Uh, marsupial is like a kangaroo, like yeah, like a kangaroo mm -hmm. uh, or wombat. They have a pouch, and the small the baby lives inside the pouch. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure about numbats either. I, I actually don't know, but very good. Uh. And answer to Leon, and answer to hi Leon, by the way. And answer to your question, I'm not sure if the mom or dad was the beagle or the Saint Bernard. I, I rescued the dog from the pound, so I, I don't know. I just thought he was so funny looking. I immediately brought him home, which is how I used to get my dates before I met my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, pretty funny. Okay, all right. Okay, Selma. N O. Okay, you you've got O. Can you think of an animal that starts with O? And don't you dare say Oakley. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Good. Uh, an owl. O. Owl teacher. What? Um. All that uh, kind of uh, ah ah okay surprised. what always surprised <laughs> <laughs> like that <laughs> okay who I said she said an oh okay owl all right it has the same sound as like cow how <laughs> how do you do cow owl owl <laughs> yes. I don't know why that particular word, like every English second language student, always yes. mispronounces that word. Everybody, you're not alone, so I'm like you and everybody else in the world. Um, <laughs> uh, not alone. Yeah, definitely not. That's so commonly mispronounced. Okay, uh, P. Alberto. Uh, 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 the pink panther. <laughs> the pink. Panther. <laughs> Very good. A little alliteration there, even. The Pink Panther. Awesome. Okay, good one. Uh, Inigo. P Q. Uh oh, you get stuck with Q. Oh dear. Oh, Q, Q, Q. Q. Is there one that starts with Q? Um. Queen? No. This is difficult. That is difficult. Can we help? Uh, Sorry? I don't know, a squirrel. Yeah. It doesn't start, but it has, it contains the, the cube. What is it again? A squirrel. A squirrel. Squirrel. It's true, yes. Uh, that yeah, that, okay. Yes, and there's another word that everyone seems to have a hard time uh, pronouncing, and that is squirrel. Squirrel, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I know, I think there's some other Q ones that maybe start with queen, like queen something snake. Oh, Quetzal. Oh, uh, sure, I can think ah, of one. I, I have one. I think I have one. It, yeah? It, it's a bird. Quail? Yes. Very good. Awesome. You got it. Yeah, quail. Have you ever eaten quail? Uh, I'm, I'm vegetarian. I'm vegan. Ah, you're vegan, so probably yes. not. <laughs> no, but... Highly but unlikely. I, I okay. used to, but not on my life. I think, okay. I think so. I, yes, I, th I think I, I, I. They're delicious little birds. Yeah, quail. Hmm. Uh, 
Quail, yes, very good. And they're sometimes hunted, and you can eat them like duck or chicken, whatever. Uh, Mustafa, yes, Selma? Sorry for interruption, but I'd like to ask you about the quail. Is it mm -hmm. that kind of bird that always knocks on the wood does, and it does a lot of noise? Ah, no, you're thinking of our W word, <laughs> which would be the woodpecker. Oh, okay, teacher. Like Woody the Woodpecker? Have you ever yeah. seen the cartoon, Woody the Woodpecker? Yeah, okay. And, okay. Let's, uh, we've only got like five more minutes. We might actually get to Z. Um, Mustafa, what's QR? Uh, raccoon. Raccoon, one of my favorite animals. Yeah. I like raccoons. Do you have raccoons in your country? Uh, maybe. In wild, I think we have. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. But they they hide so well, you can't be sure. All right. Yeah. Soma, S. A scorpion. Scorpion. Uh. <laughs> Do you have scorpions in Algeria? <laughs> yes, we have in our desert <laughs> a lot of scorpions. Have you ever been stung by a scorpion? No. I've been uh, one time. You oh, have? <laughs> yeah. Stuff has. Really? Yeah. What yeah. happened to you? What is it? Nothing. Just talk me to the doctor. <laughs> you to the doctor. What happens? Do you get sick? Does it burn? Does it sting? What's it feel mm. like? Just it's like you have a kind of fever. Your temperature will be so high, uh -huh. and you can't breathe. But it's okay. After I take a medicine, you'll be okay. Actually, when I was child, I was just like play with insects, not <laughs> any kind. So I uh -huh. just collect them and play with them. So this is my fault. <laughs> uh, collecting scorpions. Great. <laughs> Good hobby. Nice, <laughs> nice pick. Okay. That's funny. Okay. S T Alberto T. Scorpion King, yeah. <laughs> now we know. Okay, your new nickname, Mustafa, the Scorpion <laughs> King. <laughs> okay, Alberto. With T. With T. The Christmas turkey. <laughs> Christmas turkey. All right. All right. I. I. I can actually tell you, living in the Philippines as I have for the last six or seven years. The thing that I miss more than anything is turkey, which you can easily get anywhere in the United States. Turkey sandwich, turkey, whatever. Yeah. Here in the Philippines, mm, no. No turkey around. I love turkey. And no, I am not a vegan. Uh, and you go, <laughs> can you think of one with you? Ooh. With you? You get all the good ones. Aren't you lucky? Don't don't bother buying a lottery ticket today. Okay, I think uh, I don't know if it's the same in English. Uh huh. No, it's not the same. <laughs> uh, mm, but maybe. Ah. Uh. You. What's one that starts with you? Underwater. <laughs> uh, ugly. Uh, Play with colors like Selma. I can think of a dinosaur. <laughs> Ultrasaurus. Oh, I'm thinking. And this head on the on the water. Mustafa's got one. Yeah, Mr. Fo, good one. Uriel. Uriel. What the yeah. heck is that? What is I that? like it. You like oh, it? It's... I got a yes, click on it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, very cool. Okay. Really beautiful animal. Oh, wow, well, truly. That animal is from the desert. Yeah. I have heard it. It's in desert mountains. In mountains. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
type. It looks similar to American uh, or North American mountain goat, which, by the way, or bighorn sheep. Uh, have you ever seen mountain goats? Oh my! There yeah. is a. They saw. I saw something like National Geographic. They had the mountain goats, very similar to these animals. You real, and they were climbing up a dam, like dam a river. Yeah. And the the dam was like I I don't know thirty stories high or something, and it's just flat stone, but they're climbing <laughs> up it. Like, because it's it's our technique. I if I I see them, I saw them because I climb many mountains, not one. <laughs> so it's it depends on their foot. It's different a little bit, uh -huh. so they can climb easily. Yeah, it's just amazing though. Yeah. Uh, okay, who's who's turn? V. Let's see if we can. We've got like one minute. Let's see if we can finish the list. V. Mustafa. Uh, it's my turn. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe not. Uh, well, you you got Uriel, so I'll go to Selma. Yeah. Selma, can you give me one with V? Uh, Viper. Viper. Ooh, very good. Ah, uh, good. Uh, good one. <laughs> okay, uh, Alberto, V W. With W, with W, with W. Ah, uh, whale. Ah, uh, whale. Oh, sure. Okay. And ego. <laughs> okay. You, you get all the easy ones. X. X. <laughs> <laughs> Xanax. Xanax. I thought that was a drug to make you. Yes, yeah, it was the same thing. Quickly. Okay, uh, with X. Uh, um, <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, with X. There is. I know there is. There's got to be. There, there is. Okay. If, if if you say there is. Yeah, oh, actually, I had to Google it, but there's like a million. <laughs> I never, a million I've never heard of. There could be an X uh, or something like that. With X. Xenops, there, there are many. Zerus. Ah, okay, here's... Just so we can exchange animals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, there's something called a xerus, which is like a ground squirrel in Africa. Dun, 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 dun. X, Y, Z, uh, why do you ask? What's one for why? Mustafa? Uh, okay, it's my turn. For why? A uh, yak. A uh, yak. And yeah. finally, Selma Z. Good. Zebra. Zebra, yay, we made it. All right, very good, very good. All right, we're actually uh, over time. i got to turn the class over now. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day or Thank evening you. or whatever. Thank you. All right, see you guys later. See Bye -bye. you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.